Hello everyone, this video clip will show you how to condition your body. Now, this video clip, Mr. Jordan will demonstrate how to practice uh, conditions in your body. Now, first, let's do a push up position. And we can start with the traditional basic push up position. You can put your hands apart, your shoulders. Ready? One and two. Mr. Jordan's body is very flat and 10. Like you can do 10 times. Now, next will be we're gonna have different hand positions. That was a shoulder width. We're gonna bring your hands out five inch each side outside. So let's start again. Ready? One. There you go. Two. And ten. Also, this one too. We can do ten times. Now let's go even wider and that they will give you different strength on your upper body and the shoulders. Now, each time is down, 10 inches. Ready? One, two, and three. 10, excellent, good job. Now, now from there, we're gonna go back to the shoulder width, but this time we're gonna make the fist, and then when you bring your body down, your elbow will touch your rib cages. Ready? One, there you go. Two, just like that, one more time and 10, also the 10 times each the push-up position. Now, from there, let's work on the, with the balancing, so you can put your both hands together, try and reshape, and then let's just do the demonstration. And one, there you go. Two, and 10, excellent, good job, Mr. Jordan. So, that's the another push-up position. We'll give them a lot of challenge this way. We'll give them a lot of strength as well. Now, this time we're gonna look at the more, more advanced uh, push-up position, which is uh, uh, we're gonna use first the finger push-up because the fingers, we use the strikes and a lot of different purpose. So, put your finger tight together. Ready? One, two, and 10. Very nice job. So we can do finger push-up for the strikes and the strength on your hands. Now, next is uh, we're gonna do wrist push-up. You can put the top of the hands on the floors and then they give the strength on your wrist and the forearms. Ready? One, and two, and 10. Very nice, just like this. Now, next is, uh, as a type of the martial artist, we have to know how to make this correct and they use the punches correctly. So this one with the knuckle push-up. With the knuckle push-up, its purpose is using the two, these big knuckles to hit the board properly. So when you hit the, touch the floors, make sure it's only two big knuckles on the floors. So try not to touch the small knuckle. Ready? One, and two, and 10. There you go, excellent, very nice. Now, so that's the big knuckle push-ups now. The thing is, to give your children better feelings to using the, these big knuckles, you can use the wood floors or tile so they can feel the, how they feel like when they hit the board with your proper punch in the knuckle. So you can ask them to try on the how the floor. It'll give them a fun challenges for them. Now, next is we're gonna work on the, our cores and the ab strength. We believe that the, when we do any kind of movement, the kicks and the punches, we use the cores, the, your ab strength. So we're gonna do plank. Let me show them. As you see, Mr. Jordan's elbow is on the floors and then make his body flat as possible. At the same time, he holds your body in the abs as tight as he can and the same position without changing it for two minutes. This is my recommendation, but depends on your children, so they might hold it a little longer, give them more challenges, and then you can hold it two minutes. All right, thank you, Ms. Jordan. All right, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next classes.